G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman here for 3 Minute Histology. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the histology overview of the uterus. So let's start our 3 minutes. Okay, the uterus consists of three layers. It has an innermost endometrium, which is equivalent to the mucosa. Then it has a muscularis, which we refer to as the myometrium, and obviously that's the largest of the three layers. And then on the outside, we have what's referred to as the perimetrium, and that's the equivalent of the tunica serosa or adventitia. Now, the... Um, Endometrium consists, uh, can be further subdivided into two layers. It's subdivided into an outermost stratum functionalis or functional layer. And then down the bottom here, we have what's referred to as the stratum basalis or the basal layer. Now lining the surface, we have a simple ciliated columnar epithelium. Uh, so we can see that there. Then we have a uh, Connective tissue stroma. Now, this stroma is actually quite a cellular type of uh, structure. Uh, understandably, uh, if it's being shed and replaced every um, 28 days, it doesn't have a lot of time to actually uh, secrete and develop the connective tissue uh, fibers. And so it's what we refer to as a very mesenchyme-like type of connective tissue. Lots of uh, liquid um, a highly liquid ground substance, lots of cells of the stromal cells, um, but very few fibers. And if there are any fibers, they're largely going to be reticular fibers, which are the type 3 collagen. And of course, we have the endometrial glands, which you can see lined by a simple columnar epithelium, and they're going to change in appearance depending upon the stage of the menstrual cycle that the section has been taken from. And of course, we find our uh, arterioles here in the stratum functionalis. We find the spiral arterioles uh, down in the stratum basalis. We'll actually see um, the straight arterioles from which the spiral arterioles actually arise. So let me just um, zoom out here. The myometrium, as I mentioned before, these are the um, smooth muscle layer of the wall of the uterus, consists of three very indistinct uh, arrangements of oblique, um, circular, longitudinally sectioned muscle. Um, as I say, it's the largest of the three layers of the endo uh, of the uh, uterus, and um, it's not so responsive to the normal menstrual cycle. But after pregnancy or during pregnancy, uh, we actually get a hypertrophy and a hyperplasia of this smooth muscle. So it increases in number and it increases in size as this uterus increases in size to accommodate uh, the growing uh, fetus. Uh, during uh, pregnancy. So we can see lots of smooth muscle, lots of densely orientated smooth muscle here with connective tissue in between. The connective tissue within this layer is actually secreted by these smooth muscle cells. So it's a little bit like a blood vessel in that respect uh, on the tunica media of the blood vessel. Um, so we have this very thick wall. The perimetrium then is just made up of connective tissue and um, potentially a serosa depending on where the section has been taken from. And that's our three minutes. So um, hopefully you found that useful um, and um, we'll see you in the next video.